like we're on a bit of a squirrel hunt now. I've gone squirrel mad. I've just been out and seen one without my gun. Forgot my gun. Sat there plain as day. So I've run back, got my gun. Hopefully with a bit of luck, they've buggered off. I'm ro rolling solo tonight as uh, Sarah's wife won't let him out. He's in the dog house, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a look now, see if there's a uh, Mr. Squirrel Nutkin sat here. So, uh, I'll be back in a minute. It's me again. I can hear him in the trees clattering about. See, I'm completely uncamouflaged. These squirrels have took me by surprise, and I think I've just seen one on the floor over there. Report back soon. Sorry, report back soon. Not good, guys. The neighbours getting stuck in the car. And they're, they're in the garden. That shouldn't be. I don't know if you can see, but they're over there in the trees. I just keep seeing the branches moving occasionally, and I can hear them after the nuts. Dirty buggers. Well, the neighbour wouldn't go inside, so I'm having to retreat and go up the lane. See if there's any in the trees up here. Right, we're at the next spot now. I know the squirrels are uh, running along these trees. Uh, we'll say with squirrels, your best way of shooting away an air rifle is to uh, shoot them before they see you. As soon as they see you, they're off and they start running. The only thing that will get them is a 12 bore, unless you can follow them and wait for them to stop. That split second, take your shot. Other than that, it's a shotgun. Uh, so you need to be looking up into the trees and spotting them before they've spotted you. So you can take a comfortable headshot. Let's try it. Right, guys. Uh, just realised that uh, I'm uh, unintentionally dressed like Robin Hood. I didn't realise until I uh, just viewed myself back on uh, one of the clips. It wasn't intentional, and uh, now I feel quite stupid. Right, onwards for the squirrel. Right, I've spotted one, guys. I don't think it's seen me. It's in the bushes here. No, it's just a, just a, it's just a bird. It's just a bird. False alarm. There he is. A little fledgling uh, wood pigeon in its nest. So that'll be one for uh, later. He's uh, put some meat on. Excellent to see. Right then, uh, we've had quite a long hunt through the trees and uh, managed to spot one running. It just managed to uh, stop still a couple of seconds long enough for me to get crosshairs on the head. And there he is. Right, uh, nice clean head shot. In between eye and ear again. Uh, it's the only shot I'll take with the squirrel because they're tough, really tough little things. And if you hit them in the uh, sort of go for the heart and lung shot and you are slightly off, they'll run probably uh, 20 yards, you know, through the bracks, uh, trees, and whatnot. And you'll never find them, and they'll probably die slowly. So, always a headshot with them. Right, the way I uh, hunt squirrel with an air rifle is uh, scan the uh, tree line or the, the hedgerow, and I listen for any sort of loud noises in the branches from them jumping through. And then when I hear something, I check where the noises come from and then I watch. Stand still, just watch. And you'll see something move. 
then you're onto them. All right. So then you need to get the gun up to your shoulder. I right, don't have it on your shoulder because when they stop, you've only got a couple of seconds before they're on it, on the move again. So gun up to your shoulder. Go up to where they're making the noise, and then more often than not, they'll just start moving through the trees. And as they start moving through the trees, you've got to follow them. All right. So if they've if they've seen you, they're off like a bullet. If they see you and they're off, I still go for them. Right. As they run through the trees, I run along the hedgerow with them. Well, not run. I move quite sharpish. Don't hang about because they can move through the trees quicker than you can run across it. To, next to in the field so when they start moving you'll not probably see any branches moving but just keep moving 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 stop listen and you'll hear them again if they don't see you naturally they move about anyway uh, through the trees very rarely will they just sit there uh, for any great length of time uh, so they'll move so when you see them going up to the shoulder track them through the trees the movements and eventually they'll stop just for a couple of seconds and they might carry on again and you'll have to wait for the next time they stop but you've got to wait till they stop you've probably got two three seconds maximum to get your crosshairs on the head and take the shot uh, if they move in and they're not stopping just try a quick squeak like that uh, two things will happen they'll either stop dead and give you time to take your shot or they'll, they'll bolt uh, so that's how I sort of hunt them through the trees. Uh, I mean, it's easy with a shotgun because once they start running, you can just blast at them with a the shotgun. But I think it's uh, a bit more skillful to shoot them with one single pellet, don't you? Uh, I mean, I'm not knocking the guys that shoot the shotgun. I think I might be getting one sort of soon. Uh, but I enjoy shooting them with the air rifle. I think it's a lot more skillful. Another thing I'll tell you, and this isn't for the people that um, have been hunting for years, you know, I'm not trying to tell you how to do it, this is for people that are new to it. When you've shot your squirrel, alright, make sure it's dead before you pick it up. Don't, for the love of God, pick it up and it'd be still alive because they've got great big teeth on them, sharp, and if they go mad and bite you, you'll have a hell of a job getting them off you. So when you go up to it, make sure you've not just knocked it out, make sure it's dead. Uh, even when I've got them on the floor and they're not moving, I always put another shot through the head just to make sure that they are dead. If you get one of these uh, biting your hand, you'll, you'll wish you never had. I'll just show you the teeth now. Okie dokie. This is why uh, you won't be uh, picking them up when they're alive. Look at them bottom teeth. And they go all the way back down there, look. So they're a good half inch long. The bigger they get, the bigger the teeth are. Now you imagine that. You go up to that, you've uh, knocked it out, it's still alive. And it latches onto you with them. They'll go straight through your finger, they will. So. Make sure they're, uh, they're dead before you pick them up. And that's about it. That's that's how I hunt uh, squirrel. Uh, that's it. Any questions and comments, leave them below. It's not the only way uh, you, you can shoot them. If you find a nest, you can uh, sit out there in your camo and wait for them coming out. But I like to just go out walking across the uh, fields next to the hedgerows. And uh, if I hear them moving, then the hunt's on. I, I stalk them through the trees and wait for my shot. So, yeah, any questions and comments, leave them below. Uh, as always, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, more videos coming up soon. Cheers, guys.